birth control tablets are actually meant for women who want contraception and here we are talking about PCOS women who want fertility. The only reason we use birth control pills in women, uh, of course it's meant for contraception but it has added side advantages. In terms of uh, if a woman has got acne, the acne disappear. If a woman has got extra hair growth on the face, it definitely reduces the hair growth on the face. Thirdly, it also helps to reduce the heavy blood loss a woman may have if she's having erratic periods. She bleeds after two months, three months and she bleeds like a tap, which leads to a lot of blood loss and her hemoglobin drops. So in such women, when we give oral contraceptives, it helps her to get her periods every month and then the blood loss is much less. So in a way, women who have very painful periods, it also works brilliantly for them, the pain disappears. So I think the oral contraceptive pill has been a big boon to women in this century because it has so many advantages for women that it, it has assisted them to get into careers and prevents them from staying at home because of heavy bleeding or painful periods or, or you know, uh, not, being, I mean, not being able to control her uh, fertility. So the question comes is why do we use oral contraceptives in women who have PCOS? Mainly because if she has a high male hormone, the oral contraceptive helps to bring it down. It helps to reduce that and therefore improves her chances of fertility later. So women who are uh, you know, having high male hormones, it works very well for them. If a woman wants to have for cosmetic reasons, like young girls who are 17, 18, who are having terrible amount of acne, and hair growth, it works brilliantly for that. So the acne disappears within three months. But the hair growth takes a few months because hair itself to grow takes anywhere from six to nine months. So you'll see the effect only after nine months to a year. So oral contraceptives for these women helps them for that. Plus, it helps to make the lining of the uterus pretty uniform. A woman who gets her period every three months and then she bleeds, you will find that if you do her ultrasound on the fourth or fifth day of her period, you may find that the lining is still very thick. It may be six, seven millimeters, sometimes eight. And that prevents a conception. So in women who normally get periods every month, if you do the ultrasound on day four, five of their period, you'll find the lining is less than five millimeters, which allows uh, implantation to happen when in that particular cycle. So by giving the oral contraceptives, I'm able to help a woman in terms of getting pregnant faster after she stops the oral contraceptive pill and when she wants to get pregnant because it helps to keep her hormones in check. It helps to reduce the male hormone. It helps to develop the lining of the uterus better. It helps to synchronize the egg growth every month because otherwise if she's getting her period every two, three months, there are some eggs which are growing faster, some eggs which are growing slow. And then when she's wanting to get pregnant, when we give her the ovulation inducing drugs, you'll find that you get erratic type of eggs growing. So oral contraceptives prior to conception help her a lot for a few months to stabilize her and help her to get pregnant faster. Plus it gives us an opportunity to give her medications which may be harmful if she gets pregnant to her fetus and therefore it prevents conception during the time when she's using those drugs. And of course it's most commonly used in adolescents who are using it for cosmetic reasons and for preventing a pregnancy. Oral contraceptives are after all hormonal tablets, though they are extremely safe if taken under the right uh, medical supervision. There are various indications and contraindications. So it's the doctor who will decide which patient will go on the pill and therefore oral contraceptives should always be taken under medical supervision. The reason is that you're taking it long term. If it's a question of one or two months, it's fine. But if you're taking it long term, you need to be under medical supervision. You need to be sure that it's the right drug for you and therefore never take it on your own. Always see your doctor and then take it.